My name is Steve Wilkinson and I know how much of a nightmare can be to plan a day out if you're a wheelchair user. This is me in my chair. You in your chair may be smaller or larger and you may manoeuvre differently. But this video will provide a yardstick by which you may judge the suitability of the venue for you. On arrival at Crook Hall you will need to let staff at the cafe know that you need wheelchair access as they have a special gate and ramp for wheelchair using visitors. The gardens are on the banks of the River Weir and involve a general slope which, in certain areas, involves difficult or even impossible access for wheelchair users. This short video should help you to form your own judgments. The areas to which I couldn't gain access were restricted by steps, narrow gates or, in the case of the Mays Meadow, by the sharp incline from the top of the cafe area. They are shown here in pale green. Paths were in general narrow and surfaces little uneven, but I was able to enjoy my visit and found sufficient accessible areas to make the day an enjoyable experience. The current Crook Hall has developed from a medieval manor house built in 1217 and although wheelchair access is limited to the ground floor, the atmosphere in the Great Hall helps you believe the reported hauntings. There's a toilet in the manor house which may or may not be suitable for you. No! Don't do it! You should particularly note that if you do choose to approach the cafe down the steep incline, then the access to the cafe involves stone steps. There is a wheelchair friendly gate near the cafe which is normally kept locked but will be opened on application to the booking desk within the cafe. This allows access to the cafe and a modern wheelchair accessible toilet without the pain of retracing your steps. <laughs> 